We're about to experience something that we've never done before. We've heard great things about it. This is technically the second most popular event to HHN, and we're gonna see what it's all about. Today we are at Universal Studios. We have traveled all the way from South Florida. <laughs> Not that long of a travel, but we are here for Mardi Gras, baby. First time for Huac, second time for me, but first time in like 10 years. We're gonna see beads, we're gonna see floats, we're gonna see everything that there is to offer. And you're coming along with us. Let's go. It's also a really big day today because we're meeting up with friends that we have made throughout this but theme park vlogging journey, but a lot of them we've actually never met in real life. Right. However, we do have a video coming all about theme park content creators and how we spend our day at the park. So stay tuned for that one. We have no idea what Mardi Gras entails. We have our tour guides here. Lauren, we need to know exactly where are we going first? Oh, oh thank well, you. We are back here by <laughs> Animal Actors on location, and I don't know what countries are represented back here. We're gonna find out together. It's beads and food, from what I'm gathering. Beans, beans and food, food and a lot of money. We're about an hour into Mardi Gras. Right. We and lost our friends. <laughs> we anybody want right now. Two things, it's extremely, extremely hot. Oh for my being God, it is February, so hot. That weather is hot. And two, it's very, very crowded. It is so because crowded. Because it is opening day, I mean, that's expected. Right. Opening days usually tend right. to be more crowded at Universal, especially during big events. However, we had no idea how big Mardi Gras really was. I feel yeah. like No, this, you can feel the energy for sure. It's like, uh, I have hair in my mouth. Feels like HHN crowd right. levels right now. No, it's very, I feel very, like if there were like a Mardi Gras house, like it'd probably be at like 200 minutes right, right. now. No, but it's, it's very oh interesting. The decorations are great. We see street performers. Every so often yeah. people are throwing beads. We've caught some. Right. We've, caught, we've caught one. Right. <laughs> Look good? Looking good. I don't think there's ever been a mirror that Hawk has not stopped and looked at himself in. I'm just a mirror kind of guy. Just a mirror kind of guy. I don't know what to tell you. But one of the neat things about Mardi Gras is that, if, especially if you're a late riser, most of the events and things that you can do here start at a later time. For example, the meet and greet is about to start at three o'clock. We're waiting here to see some of the actors come out. Then we've got a select dates to concerts and you can't forget about the parade. Oh, look at that, check it out. The actors are coming out now, speak of the devil. Did the meet and greets. Right. We met quite a few pretty cool performers. Uh, performers, yeah, with some badass costumes. Now really they're getting ready to go, put the, their full gear on right. for the parade. Which starts in about, well, less than in three a, hours. Almost two hours. So right now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try some Mardi Gras universal food, which is the beignets or the king cake. Let's see what I'm feeling. Okay, so here's the deal. We recorded the beignets review two days ago and then realized that there was absolutely no audio because happens. So, beignets in hand. Now I know that you're supposed to shake the bag in order to spread, I guess, the powder around. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Okay. Fluffy pillow beignets. Bayonets, not really. You know, you know, if you don't. You can see. It looks like Christmas. There you go. All right. Try to be maybe a little less messy. It's like a donut. Like a powder donut. What would you rate it? This is probably like an eight. Eight? But because it brings a good amount. All right, so you get more than one in the bag, so you can definitely Four. share this. We came from Bayonets, beignets, beignets, whatever you want to call it. We got it all. Now, one of the main draws to this event is the food here at Mardi Gras, which is over 50 different menu tasting items. And you can buy a food and beverage card. You can get for $120, that'll give you $150 worth of food value. If you're not an annual pass holder, then you can get one that is $65 for $75 worth of food value. As you can see, it comes in a nice little lanyard and a little plastic protection case. Check it out. We're in. The cool thing about these cards is that they never expire. So if we don't eat up to $75 worth of food in one day, we can try this whenever we're back at the parks. So let's try it out. Let's go see what we can eat. All right, first up is the Columbia pop-up stand. And we're going to see if this Colombian burger lives up to the hype. So the first, first thing up. I'll say, I've noticed that every meal is this portion. If you're really hungry and you're expecting this to be your lunch, or your breakfast or your dinner or whatever, don't count on it. Especially if you're like me and you eat a lot. Uh, but we're gonna try it anyway. It's juicy, it's tender, it's fresh. I give it um, like an eight out of 10 actually. 
pretty wow, good. Wow, starting yeah. strong. Because I am Colombian, I have a very high bar expectation to meet here. So let's see. Don't think too hard. I'm savoring. So it tastes a little bit too much like a regular burger for me. If I'm gonna get a Colombian burger, listen, I want all the fries inside the burger, and okay? The sauce all and, the papitas. Right. We want all the sauce, everything. But it's not bad. It's kind of hard to find something that we both actually really like. So I don't know what we're gonna do with this food car, but we're gonna try to eat Save some more food. Save it for HHN. No, no, no. We're gonna, we're I'm gonna, kidding. we're on our way to <laughs> try a spicy Bloody Mary, I think it was. Or, yeah. Whomping Wizard, like. Jen, told us about this find, and Hawk is a big spicy guy, so. Let's see, let's see if this let's looks up to Let's see how spicy it really is. So one thing you should know about me is that I absolutely love spicy food. I'm talking about sick obsession to the max. And so we're here at Bloody Mary and we're going to try the Bloody Mary Wild. As you can see, this is fully spiced up, nice and spicy. And you got a chicken sandwich on top. You've got even some peppers here at the bottom. I actually add, asked them to add spice to it. Extra hot sauce. Extra hot sauce. So we'll really, we'll see what it's all about. Pretty good. Not as spicy as I want it to be, but taste level, I give this about an 8 out of 10 as well. Well, Hawk's spice level tolerance is at like 100, mine is at a 0. So, I'm not a Bloody Mary girl, I'm not an alcohol girl at all, but we're going to try this and we're going to see what my rating is. Immediately no. <laughs> Immediately no. Oh my gosh. Not for me. Why? Because it's spicy? Even the birds are like, hell no. Cucumber, like I can taste the cucumber. It is spicy. Spicy chicken sandwich and alcohol. And I just can't, I can't, I can't, I didn't like it. Like two, two at a time. Jeez. I think you're also biased because it, you're in a blinky cup. So it's giving you HHN vibes right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. have you found the card to be? Overall, it's pretty simple. You just hand it, no questions asked, and it's just it's like, like a, a gift, gift card. card. Yeah, that's all it is. Banana foster crepe, creme brulee. And you're a big fan of crepes. And I'm a huge fan so, of crepes, 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 crepes. Uh, however you want to call it. <laughs> however you want to call it. This, I will say, took forever. Like, I think we were waiting for like, I don't know, 20 minutes. Yeah, but I will say that it is fresh and they're making fresh. it one by one and with love. So give them a little credit. This is bleeping good. Really? I think this is my first 9 out of 10. Whoa! It is good. I give this a 9 out of 10 as well. Good. This is probably the best thing I've had in the theme park. Today? This entire trip. I will say one of the things about these cards that I have noticed is relief. You know when you're spending money on food, you're kind of like in your head trying to tally up like, oh my gosh, how much did I spend? How much did I? Budget you're, in your head, yeah. Yeah, you're, budget, you're budgeting in your head. When you buy this, you already spend like the 65 pretty much like at the top of it. So you, I'm not, we're not thinking about like what we're spending. Right. We're just kind of spending buying food and going with out. it. We're spending until it runs out. Today, we are finally, 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 finally checking out the Tribute Store. I might look a little different than what you thought you saw me last, but just got out of the Monster Makeover, which you can now transform yourself into a Universal Monster or something special like what I've got going on. If you want to find out about all the spooky stuff that we found at Mardi Gras and in February, then check out the video that we're putting up after this one. In the Hollywood section this year, we have the Tribute Store with a haunted spin. My favorite is always the snack portion of the Tribute Store uh -huh. because I absolutely love all the snacks that Tribute Store yeah. has. However, I would say that the hotel portion, when you were walking through the hotel of the steamboat, it was like that creaking, was spooky. rocking, spooky when the captain, the ghost of the captain greets you. Oh, it is just my HHN heart was whew, all over the place. If you could, if you would tell me that this was an HHN tribute store with like a, I don't know, like a ghostly, like shipping theming, I would believe you. I would believe you, but no, it's Mardi Gras. If you're visiting right. Universal Orlando Resort through April and you don't come in here and you're an HHN fan, what are you doing with your life? All right, so T minus one hour till the parade starts. And this time we actually have a good spot. We have a great spot for the parade. We have to ask our new friend, is that correct? <laughs> okay. Can confirm. We're gonna catch some beans. We're a few minutes away from the parade. I'm looking forward to it. I heard it's pretty badass, but we'll see what it's all about. So we're doing it, baby. We're doing it. 
parade was pretty damn epic. I did not expect it for it to be like that. Catching bees, everybody's really into it. It's super fun. And if you do the ride and dine experience, you'll have even more fun because you'll be throwing the beads to the people and you'll be part of the main action. We did it. This is great. I actually got beads. Counted a lot of beads. beads. Confetti. Beads, beer, friends, Mardi That's right. Gras. That's what it's all about. You gotta come. It's great. Now, get over here. Now. Whew. That was one hell of an experience. We spent almost a week here and we've experienced everything from the tribute store to meeting all sorts of people to the meet and greets, the parade. It was amazing overall. Would I come back? You pay your I would come back. I can 100% say I understand now why people say that this is the closest thing to HHN vibes because of the excitement, the atmosphere. It is amazing. It really is. We used to think that Mardi Gras was just kind of like a filler event in between HHN and the rest of the year, but this event is one we're coming back to every single year. If you're looking to come to Mardi Gras, the event runs through April 7th. It will not disappoint. And if you're looking for more HHN vlogs, vibes, guides, stay tuned for those as we keep you updated in that space. Stay spooky.